Another interesting story you worked on uh, about Facebook today. Uh, analysts report out that Facebook is saying it can reach people who don't exist. In fact, by 10 million, they're inflating these numbers of people that they say exist that this analyst says don't exist. Explain what's happening here. Okay, so <laughs> so on one hand, we're talking about the the estimated reach of a Facebook ad. On the other hand, we're talking about the numbers that are in the U.S. Census. Mm -hmm. So Facebook says it can reach more people than are in the U.S. Census. Of course, that implies that you know in this in Facebook, which is a place where we have real names, we have identities. Facebook sells its advertising based on that. There might be some fake names, fake identities, or duplicate accounts, or whatever it might be. Um, what Facebook says in response is that they don't mean to totally match the census. In fact, in a lot of geographic regions, uh, there are often visitors or people who are in a place that are not actual residents of that place, and that the advertisers only pay for the people that they reach. So this report, analyst report, is coming from Brian Weezer of, of Pivotal. And I'm curious, I mean, he's saying there's like a $10 million, 10 million person difference. I mean, is 10, I mean, do, do these other kinds of people that Facebook is talking about, can there really be 10 million of them? 10 million tourists <laughs> in America, yeah. I, you know, I, I think that what this comes back to is this debate we've had for more than a year now about how much we can really trust metrics on digital properties. Mm -hmm. And Facebook had a little bit of a controversy last year when it said that it inflated some metrics it was giving advertisers. They fixed those problems. Um, they weren't related to billing. But it did cause a ripple effect in the advertising industry where people were thinking, you know, we don't really know if all of the people that Facebook says we are reaching are actually people or if they're fake accounts or if they are um, actually looking at these ads or if it's click fraud. Uh, in, in that case, it would be like a bot clicking on the, art, the mm -hmm. ad, which is not actually a human. <laughs> so they've been trying to fix their system. They've been trying to work with third party verifiers to make sure that these numbers are legit. Um, meanwhile, this report from Weezer at Pivotal Research gives more fodder to this argument from advertisers that they need more transparency from Facebook.